going on everybody it's green tree kingdom 394 uh, i just want to kind of go over the pursuer event or uh the new pursuer armor you know just to give you a little general idea of what it's all about you know it took me a few days to do it and i know it's been a few days so most of you probably already figured out how to work it but uh if you don't you know hopefully this helps so, you just go to your armory, or your forge, click on your armory, and you'll see that up in the top corner, right here, that you can select on a clock. And you click on that, and it gives you what that day's events are, so you can do it. So, today is kill 48 level 6 or higher, vampire thralls. So, we'll do that real quick. No, do 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 find some to kill now as far as these go you know level twos they're just going to give you some basic battle ingots this is a good way to get ingots for any of the suits of armor outside of the pursuer set they haven't done anything with that yet but who knows they might you know level eights you're going to get the retribution ingots um, level 12, you can get Master Ingots, 10s, you're going to get Sun King ing Ingot. Um, so see here, a 9, you can get the Sun King. So it's a good way to upgrade your armor really quickly, actually, because, I mean, attacking any of these only takes 4 stamina. It's once you get to a level 15 and 16, then you can actually start getting Buccaneer Ingots which is cool considering it's always cost money to get them before. Let's see if we can find a level 15 or 16 to attack. And sometimes, you know, with the entire kingdom looking for them, they're a little harder to find and farther spaced. Usually you have to go where there's no alliances. Then you won't have anybody hunting them. <clears throat> it's also a really good way to get uh, steel for the upgrades and the crimson gold. You know, you can get quite a bit of it. There's a 16. You can see Buccaneer Ingot. You actually have a chance of getting Ether Crystal from it as well. So it's a good way to get the items you need to upgrade your armor. And it's not through in a, you know, like one of those random spin events or something like that. Same with a level 15. And it seems like they keep, uh, every day they're adding new levels to it. From when I look at it, it looks like they're going to eventually get to a level 30. You know, if you click on the search, you can search all the way up to a level 30 Vampire Thrall, which I don't know what they're going to offer on a level 30. You know, if they're already up to Buccaneer Ingot. So, it's just a good way to get quite a bit of items for your armor again just click on the armory go up and you can see this little chest i've got 20 elixir now the way i've gotten them is through the honor challenge event now you can get them you can buy them but i always upgrade the honor challenge just because it gives you the whatever their newest thing that they're coming out with usually which seems like a lot here lately. But, you know, as you can see on mine, I've gotten three pieces of the Pursuer. Um, but let's just see what these 20 Elixir is going to actually get me. You can do it one, or you can use all. Me personally, I've seen it go both ways, where I've gotten Pursuer ingot or scrolls on either one so but this time we're just going to use all 20 in one shot and we've got a pursuer boot scroll i already had that i got seven elixir but right here as you can see i got one for 20 elixir so i can upgrade um my boots now to a level two You have to click on the actual item, then go up in the top. You'll see 
right here. Forge, Enhancement, and Rune. Rune is something new for the Pursuer. So, Enhancement, we'll go ahead and enhance the Pursuer boots to a level 2. Um, or to a level 1, I should say. Didn't mean to exit out. But then, so the Rune, you can see here, level 9, level 10, level 14 out of 15. It increases your March capacity. So it is a kind of cool little thing to increase March capacities. You know, this one is 850 more, 1475, 800. So it it is, oh, and I think, oh, nope, it's not a level one yet, the necklace. So I can't, but the level two on the rune, it'll hit a certain mark and it'll hit reinforce. As you can see here, reinforce, I can't because it's only a level one. This is a level two. I can get it up to level 15. I believe it'll go to a level 20. Because <clears throat> once you hit 15, you'll have to reinforce it. But that's really kind of what I know about the Pursuer event right now. Hopefully this helps. If you know of uh, tips or tricks to it, please leave them in the comments. Always wanting to see what other people are doing or have to say about the event. Anytime you can try something different, I'm all for it. Something that'll help. Uh, and if you have any questions, leave a comment. And I will get to those as quickly as I can. As always, hit the like, subscribe button, so I know that you guys are finding these useful. And I'll keep doing them. Uh, until then, everybody be safe, and we'll talk to you later.